Round three of the Bunnings NPC kicks off tonight here at Navigation Home Stadium. Pukakoi is the home side. Counties Monaco hunt their first win of the season against Bay of Plenty. And it's there for Suetena Asomua as they look to build inside Bay of Plenty's half. Get their game going. Itene Nanaisaturo was brilliant last week. Frees the ball away beautifully to the Tony Pulu. Cutting back on the angle, so dangerous. And he takes play nine metres out from Bay of Plenty's line. Here they come again. Kobe Lata strong, very close reaching. Fun, fun. And Marcus Plale's whistle goes. But what power from the loose head. There's Stephen Donald. John, we'll come to you, mate. Oh, brilliant start from Counties. Excellent power, as you said. Good effort, John R4, 36 test all black to bring down the loose head, but has he done enough to score counties first? Okay, so on for decision, Stan, so it's a try. Thanks, mate. There it is for counties, Monaco. They score the opening try through Kolbaka Kaivelata. Here you see it here. And it was Anthony Nano Satoru. He spotted two of the forwards in the middle of the park. And it became a numbers game there. Tony Pullo did brilliantly to keep it going. And the quick ball, you can see the bot were retreating defensively. And they weren't able to recover in the end. Now they've got a chance on the 10 metre line to build inside County's territory. Just waiting again through Eklund. Crashing into the try scorer. Dodi Orangi. Trying to dig in. And they're making a nuisance of themselves at Ruck Time Counties. They've got an advantage to work with two here. Bay of Plenty. So the low numbers wait once more. Hicklin thought about the inside ball. And then takes contact there. Tahuri Orangi and Cashmore. And they're looking to set them alight here. Bay of Plenty cutting straight through. It's a beautiful break and it's going to be the response for Cole Forbes. Excellent try and fantastic work by the fullback. They had good space and good numbers defensively, and then Forbes, Hoskin, Satudu potentially got held up just a split second, but they're not even looking at it. And Forbes took full advantage. Taylor? Absolutely. Well, it's just the awareness from Tahuri Orangi as well that they were under their advantage just to be patient and recycle the ball. Okay, Stevens, no Jimmy took both tonight. One. was cleaner at line out time than him last week as McCrovey takes it for counties where Stevens on the rep break gets the ball away beautifully Polo close just three out here they come again they're going to score they yes they are Sam 24 for counties and they get their second a dummy fake more committed all the Bay of Plenty forwards and they just didn't get off quick enough to hound the Tony Pulu but don't get much quicker than Tony Pulu and again we're just seeing the signs that the bop defense just couldn't recover and then it was just the peel around too showed a little bit of pace and inside it was a beautiful beautiful choice of move there from the county's Monaco they'll be stoked for that so Wes Stevens fires in for McRobbie yeah ball and they set this one there under the wing of Russell Moore and back for the hooker. This is what Hawks Bay did to them last week. Right on the final hooter. Can they score their third off the line out drive here? Still moving forward. Close to the line. Advantage. And they've got an advantage to work with as well. Penalty advantage for counties. Marcus Plale taking a close look, and guess what? Penalty try for counties. A week after Hawks Bay scored one against them. Six. With six. And it's Naitoa Akoi who is going to spend some time in the bin. What a start to this game. County's looking so polished. I can't even remember an error from them so far in those 10 minutes. They've been very clinical. And now they're going to be playing 14 men. And the way they're going, they're keeping the ball in hand. Bohef is deciding when it's time to kick. But there's a lot to like about counties here at the moment. And they'll be wanting to take full advantage of the 14 men bot now. Just on their side of halfway. Cut down Sione Molia. 
They go again, Daniela Hohepa. Little kick through. Denny Nanaisaturo for Wes Stevens, but it's been cleaned up. It was a good job. Cole Forbes hat through, though. County's chasing, and they've got it. Fully knock on. A knock on advantage to work with. So here they come again. Real test of Bay of Plenty's defence now. Daniela has the box and waiting. They go deeper. And Tenny Nanasutoro fights a beautiful ball over the top. And it's Riley Hoyapo who's going to wheel it round. Improve the position. And counties have their fourth. We mentioned they haven't made a mistake. Thompson was the one that got it started. The big lock, rampaging through the middle. And then from here, they just went flat and quick. Bay Plenty never recovering. Numbers down. And the pass there, the Bay came and tried to shut it down with line speed. The Riley Hohepa held his depth and held his whip. And, geez, counties. This is the best 15 minutes I've ever played, probably since 93. And crunched in a big tackle by Natoa Akoi. But on the front foot once more. Right, Liam Reddy. And they reload once more. Daniela for Hohepa sends it through the little grubber. Work to do back here for Mugabe Black. But he was playing advantage, and none came. Marcus Playle. Strikes it sweetly. Riley Hohepa, and he sends it through. Very good kick. Here they come, looking for another one. Melani Nanai. Loading up away to the left. Salby Rickett. Brought in weights. He's got John R4 with him. Try and blow through. Lalo Milo, Lalo Milo is there. Tahuri Orangi, Paya, trying to charge his way to the line. There it is, once more for the captain. Kurt Eklund's close. The line's right there, he scored it. Absolutely, you've got to give credit to their forwards and their pack getting around that ruck, but also choosing to go on the outside shoulder, which makes the county's defence have to buy in. And half time here, they lead Bay of Plenty by 29 points to 14. They go to the front, quick play to Natoa Akoi. It's tucked in, and they're going to score. Perfect start to the second half for Bay of Plenty, and they're on the board through their flanker. Oh, how easy did they make that look? Absolutely, it was a pinpoint accuracy from Kurt Eklund straight to Akoi as well, but everyone in that line-out had a strong, fast bind in the county's Monaco, they were put on the back foot straight away and they couldn't couldn't stop that at all. Too much momentum for the bait. Stevens, and it goes, McCrobby. Daniela for Hohepa. Ready again. Oh, lost. And the ball's just ripped away, no. but illegally so. And uh, Riley Hohepa might have a look here, baby. Yes, he will. Lovely kick. Excellent kick, Riley Hoyapa. And he takes it out to 32 19. 10 gone in the second half here. There's a cracking jersey from yesteryear. Beaver. Could be relevant in the 95 issue, I think, with Jonah and Joely on the wings, of course. I mean, the hat's from then, too, actually. Crouch. Still fits like a glove. Fines. Wonderful team. From the 90s, Gaudi's Monaco. And the steam is through. Mugabe Black fires it away for Natoa Akoi. Naruhi Mugabe Black can't hold on. It goes forward. And David Offer says that'll do. Gaudi's have their first win of the season. A very good win in the end. And they have beaten Bay of Plenty by 32 points to 19 here tonight in front of their home crowd at Pukakuhi.